Yo, what's up guys? I'm here with another video. This is going to be episode 17, I think, of the Samira mid lane like series. Um, in this game, I am playing in like, I believe it's Diamond 1. And this will be like a really, really, I would say almost perfect game. So this might be a fun game to go over. There will be no face cam today because I haven't been feeling that well lately. Um, but yeah, let's just get into the game. I will be laning versus Azeri, which has been getting a bit more popular lately. It's kind of tough. Because there is like one of those champs where you can kind of stay far away from you and there isn't really that much you can do unless they... It's like one of those matches where they have to mess up for you to like be able to kill them, kind of. I started the game here with a longsword because I've just been like kind of testing out what feels better as a starting item because Doran's Blade just got nerfed. It was important to look at like the enemy's runes and see what they have. Obviously I hit her there once and she has bone plating, so... Going for like a, a longer trade with the bone planning proc is kind of bad. So ideally you want to like proc it with Q, wait for bone planning to run out and then see if you can get like a retrade. She also has fleet which means she has quite a bit of sustain. So going for short trades is not that good. But she will have more sustain than me. So I'll probably be looking like normally in matchups like this you're looking for like an all-in. This isn't fully an all-in like you would do like a committed all-in where you get her to like half health something like that and then the next all-in you would kill her that's pretty much how you are supposed to play these matchups you can cue poke i'm running electrocute this game with ignite and flash i've been really liking electrocute and ignite lately i went on a giga win streak with pretty much only those summoners and that room page it just feels kind of good i feel like it matches my playstyle of just like playing aggro going for the 1v1s So if you do like that playstyle, I would recommend take Like, they just made it so the death timers are longer early game. Like, TP kind of got a nerf. I don't remember the exact uh, notes, but... It makes more sense now to go Ignite. Or not more sense than TP, but it's for sure more viable. So my comp is Yone, Amumu, Lucian, Braum, which isn't that bad. Also, I didn't know that until this one moment, but apparently you cannot W a Zeri auto attack, like the actual passive auto attack, which is kind of bad, not great for trading. So again, for the most part, you're kind of just waiting. It's a bit rough early game. Samir, like level 1, level 2, level 3, doesn't have that much damage. It's easier when you have items to 1v1. Because with items, like Zeri 1 item, Zeri 2 items, you have more burst than her, so it's easier to just win a 1v1 there. Yeah, my comp's pretty nice. I kind of like playing with Braum. Um, it's not like the best support I like playing with, but it's decent. Momo is obviously really, really nice. Yone is like, okay. I'd rather have the Volibear on my team, to be honest. And then the AD carry doesn't really matter that much. Although ideally it would be a Nyla. Samir Nyla is a really good combo. He gets to get the cannon. But yeah, you just gotta keep out keep an eye out for those Zeri W's. You can it's it's kinda like Zeri mid, you can kinda play it really safe. This is kinda bad. Zeri is rotating top, Mayone is one HP, but you can't really follow here. If the jungler is on the top side jungle, you could be like dead. You could do like a late follow, but see, there you go, she's still there. So if I would have face checked the bush, that would have been really bad for me. Especially if the enemy jungler was also near there. Which she was, as you can see right now. Elise is over there, top side. Maybe you can look for a trader because you know Elise is not around. But again, bone planning. Bone plating. So my game plan here is usually just, it kind of depends, I mean every lane you have to just play by feeling and see how it goes. But I'm trying to farm for a BF sort and then go for better trades. Because you don't really have enough damage to just all in 100 to 0. Mostly. Nice, I got the W cannon there at the end. Oh, it's like 
This like traits I've got are pretty decent where you kind of get them like half health and then the next ability cycle you can go for like a full and then just kill them. A lot of traits will go like that. Even if it's a bad trade. You just need to get them low enough. Kind of waiting for W here, but if she walks up, I might try and do something, which I did there. Probably just looking to reset now though. I could buy a BF sword, which is a pretty big spike. I'm trying not to miss the whole wave. Just W the wave, like she shows pretty fast. It'll be even worse when she gets static. We look at the insta reset after this wave. He's probably resetting as well. I'll be going collector here. I like IE rush more, but it's because I did long I did the long sword start. Like I don't know what you're supposed to do if you go long sword start. You can't really rush IE. I mean you can. But then you're just sitting there with a random long sword. Until you get collector. That just seems kind of weird. This could be a good fight. You always want to play around Amomo. Amomo is so broken with Samira. Uh, the Momo played really scared there, I don't know why, because I put that way. This is for sure 2v2, two two, we could win though, although the Momo is level 5, not level 6. But it's so nice having a Momo on the team. That's for sure like the main champ you want to play around in this game. So now you're just going to be kind of careful for the jungler. You could probably win the 1v1 now, but if the Elise is there, you obviously do not win. Because you can't just 1v2 100-0. to I'm probably going to look for like a short trade or an all-in if I can. And then probably going to be like a short trade with Electrocute and then go for a re-engage. That's my main game plan here in this 1v1. Unless I'm strong enough to just all-in with the 100-0, to but you probably need IE or Collective for that. I'm walking down here because maybe the Zeri is walking down and I don't want her to like get a free cleanup. I see the Zeri did not roam bot, so I will just also be going back to the mid lane. You can maybe E onto her here. Get the bomb playing out of the way. This would be a really good spot to go in, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. It's kind of griefing here. Probably flash after this if she flashes. With all off in the Q. Ah, oh, that's sad. I got her anyway. Miss Q, but there she just kind of messed up. Which is what I said earlier. If they mess up, you can kind of just punish them for free. So many people will flash like that, but they're still in like the Samira ult range and then they're just dead anyway. That's really good for me, obviously. I can get my Dirk. I kind of like just getting Cloak. Instead of Boots here. Like, Boots are nice, but... Most of the time, the Boots don't make that much of a difference. Like, either they let you E in, or they don't. I'm pretty strong here. There's no flash now. I have no flash. So again now the strategy is just the same. Probably look over to E to a minion onto the Zeri. And look for an all-in. Gotta be careful though. Their bot lane support is missing. All lane support is a Rakan, which is you can't really do much to outplay a Rakan as Samira because they kind of just run at you. Uh, I mean, uh, random Brom Rom. Hello, Brom. You can kind of just shove this wave, clear the wave, and then just go back by a full collector. <clears throat> Zeri walking down here, so again, I try and follow, so this is pretty key, I feel like I do this a lot and I feel like you should do this a lot, even if you're not fully committed to like helping them out here, you can get a lot from these roams, even if it's just there to like, like Zeri gets two kills, I don't know why the Brom pinged me, I couldn't have been there any faster. Okay, that's pretty good, I get a kill in exchange. 
So you could sit mid there and just shove lane. But you would you would get one wave or two waves, I guess. Now I got a kill. And I can probably I probably should have shoved that out. A bit risky though. But um yeah, that wasn't really my fault. I'm like tapping it out as well. But I'm I'm right though, like they're going for a dive when we see the Zeri passing down over a ward. And um, I mean, there's almost not a single champion in the game that can outshop a Zeri with Thadic, so I will never really have the prio in that sense. Like, it's gonna be hard for me to rotate first because it is, it is Static Shiv. Boom. Rom shot down. That's terrible. But, I mean, a kill is a kill, I guess. You could probably look for E here. I don't know why she was walking up like that. Probably thought I wouldn't go in. Because the whole wave was like near me, but it legit doesn't matter. So again, he messes up. I just kill her for free. This is what I mean when I say like, oh, you kind of have to wait for some people to mess up. Some people will just randomly walk up. Like, keep in mind, this is Diamond 1. These people are almost master, but not bad at the game. Yet that guy just walked into Samira E range as Zeri. Like, okay, well, I guess I'll just kill you then. Yoink. I just baited that for the Amumu, that was pretty straightforward. Amumu was playing around the vision, so I'm just pretending I'm like there on my own. Momo at the Q, which is nice, we just insta-kill the uh, least. I probably should have reset here, I shouldn't even have walked towards the dragon. No, I'll probably buy a BF sword. Sometimes the gold lines up really awkward now with boots being kind of expensive, like tier 2 boots. So I just buy boots, cloth armor. They're roaming, always try and ping when, when your miner is missing. It's better to ping too much than not ping at all, because people just get tilted if you don't ping. I swear you, you could, like Zeri could walk over 10 wards. And they'll still be like, lol, Samira, why didn't you follow? Why didn't you ping? Oh, uh, yeah, no, guys, I warded though. Hey, right there. Yeah, just ping. It's actually crazy because I feel like I ping more just so people don't get tilted instead of actually pinging to point out the people's positioning. It's kind of crazy. It's the same with following. Like, there, there, there'll be spots where you follow like a really bad play and you kind of follow because you don't want them to get mad. And tilt. Like it could be the word like this is already kinda risky. But I follow, but imagine if there's like three people right here and they jump me and I'm dead. But this is okay though. Um Brom gonna knock up so I just follow up. There is kinda weak compared to me now, so maybe we hit a Yoni altar. Nope. That's okay. Brom just shielded the wrong way. Unlucky. Don't really have too much health here to lane. I probably should have stayed here. Okay, nice. I do stay. I can stay here because my Brahma's here and he can help me shove out the lane safely. Which gets me a little bit more gold before I go base. Oh, I should probably look to reset. I forgot what the, um, the gold is for IE. I think it's either 1.7 or 1.5. No, it's way more than that. I'm, I'm stupid. Sorry. I think it's once you, once you buy Cloak and Pickaxe with BF Sword, it's like 1.5. Oh yeah, there we go. It is 1.5 now. So BF plus Cloak, you need 1.5 more to get a full IE. Kind of weird how I memorize the game, the game like that. I swear, I do it with like every item. I think it's like every component of Collector, you need 600 more or 300 more. Either one. I think it's 300. This game is looking kind of good. We're a little bit ahead. Oh, I mean, we're quite a bit ahead. I'm pretty strong. But you can still lose. You never know. I wish I could see like a bronze Samira mid. 
player, I would like to see how they play and how they like rotate. Because I feel like rotating is so important. Not even just rotating, but even like slightly moving down. Like, half towards my brawn there. Or like... Like, covering a jungler that's like invading. Just stuff like that. I swear, rotations is like 80% of the game. This is fine, my bot lane goes mid, so you just go bot to pick up the wave. Ideally, I don't want to be on the side lane, I say this all the time, but you can't really just always stay mid and just share XP because no one then is picking up the bot lane waves. This is really bad though, I think I remember this. This is why I really dislike being in a side lane. I'm really strong, I would love to be there in a the fight, and now somehow my entire team is engaging mid without me. And just like that, we, we we gave up three kills. We get a third out of it, I think. So it's not that bad, but this is why I really, really dislike side laning. Especially when I have all the kills. It's also, um, I understand that um, the bot lane obviously doesn't want a side lane and the Lucian doesn't want a side lane, but Samira and Omumu is so good combined. I'm typing in the chat right now because it's actually so frustrating. It's true though, like I leave I leave mid to go side lane to pick up like one or two waves, and then I could rotate back mid for a fight, and then they insta hard engage, which is pretty You can pass like bot too far shoved in now to pass bot. Is there he's pushing it though? I'm probably trying to help the Omomo here. Like I said, the was really good to play around. Nice, he had a kill on the Varus. He was insta kill that guy. Look at my damage. Boom! Nice stab that. Oh my god, I'm scripting. Nice little plan over the wall. Now you're just super strong. Ideally, you just want the Mumu to hard force fights here and then you just engage off of the Mumu. That was a really greedy chase by them. There's a lot of fights where, where you can counter engage like that. Where they will just chase down a target like a Mumu and they turn and you're there to just insta kill everyone. And probably like there was a mid lane wave that I gave up to help the Mumu there. So again, another rotation that got me a pretty big lead. Or not lead, but increases our odds of winning the game. If you take that mid lane wave there, you don't get anything. You don't get the you don't get the double kills, and the move might actually be dead, which would be pretty bad. And this does not look good. I wouldn't even recommend the move to go in here. This kind of seems unwinnable. They have no damage. Yeah, that was yeah. Kinda unlucky when you get teams like this. I don't know why I'm being pinged by the Braum. It's actually crazy because he's the one griefing there. They get into a 2v3. I'm still resetting from getting a free double kill in our jungle. Kinda crazy. Like people like that are kind of annoying. Because he's actually getting carried by me. And he's throwing the game himself, but he's I don't know, in his mind I guess it's my fault. That's kinda crazy. But Okay, I'm gonna open a can. I hope this is not too loud. Monkey Coke. Also, I really like going Sweeper. Um, you don't really need a far side. You don't really... It's either Sweeper or just normal Trinket, I think. Those just feel kind of the best. Sweeper is nice, though, because you're playing kind of like an Assassin for the most part. Again, they'll probably just pick up a ball lane wave. It is really important though that you do pick up these waves. You can't just let these die into the turret. Like, someone needs that gold and XP. This seems not great. Um, the team should kind of realize that I'm not there. I'm holding like both mid and bot. Maybe you can E onto the Zero here if she walks up. The team should kind of recognize it that I am the carry, and they should probably not make a play if it's not with me. 
Maybe this guy can engage here. A little bit risky, but I mean, I boom. Could be fine. I do so much damage that almost anyone that's just locked down, I can kind of one shot. Apart from maybe the volley bear. Everyone else should be pretty easy to kill if they're stunned. I think these were like my promos to either like Diamond One or maybe Monsters. I don't remember. They're opting to a shield bow here. I think whatever you build here is kind of fine. Um, I go for a shield bow because I don't want to get one shot. The way you die here is like you get CC'd into just death or like an Elise E into like a bunch of burst. I don't really need more damage right now, so shield bow is a fine fight. It was like both, right? It's survivability and damage. And Elise is a pretty big threat. Like if she lands 1e, e, I'm kind of just dead. It was just really nice here. Also need to survive a Rakan like taunt into whatever damage, like a Varus ult. You don't really need to work Dominix this early anyway. This could be okay. We can get like a late engage. They probably use some stuff already. It's on the wall of not great, but the Momo ult here maybe. Just go in because it's a Momo ult. You kind of have to be careful though. You don't want to lose all your health to the Zeri who's just like chaining the, the damage. I'm staying pretty far back. I feel like we should have just backed off after the two kills. Because chasing Azari is really bad and risky. But this game actually looks kind of rough now. I don't know why. It just looks like we're losing. It's crazy. Because I'm 9 and 0. The 2 are SES. 20 minutes. Yeah, sometimes the game will just. Go like this. I swear there's so many games where if I don't 1v5, I can just lose. Like I feel like very often the enemy mid laners don't need to carry as hard as I need to carry to win. Maybe I am just dumb. So again, I'm just following the team here. I'm following the Amomo. Amomo is just your setup. This guy is just running in 1v5. Fine. Still saving my abilities for the most part. Flash onto the back line. Kill the Zeri. And just turn it into a dragon. Yoink. You can maybe rotate into a Baron here. I'm a little bit low on HP though. And their jungler is still alive. But I would be down for this. Maybe there's like a plant. A health plant. Looks pretty free, Varus is still mid. That's the at least like somehow solo contest and steals, which probably not happening. It's a pretty free Baron. Baron Deluxe. Yeah, actually, I end up going for like a full survivability build after Collector and IE. Because I do enough damage, I just need to like not die now. I have 11 kills, I have a big bounty on me. I need to not get one shot, I need to not die. So shield bow into BT feels kinda good. You can probably buy some other items here as well, maybe like... Uh, maybe a GA, but GA this early doesn't feel that good. Mom would just said... Something top, sink waves. Yeah. I just kind of refuse to go to a sideline at this point. There's no way I go to a sideline again and let my team just end without me. Okay, that could be a good engage if I get the E off. Oh, it's kind of risky. I got ulted on our third by Varus, I lost my entire armor. I'm really low now. We should probably just try and re like disengage. Put a Momo ult though, so you probably just go in. Yeah, 
Do you see? It's kind of funny. You kind of have to play by feeling. Like, I, I was saying that we probably should leave there because I'm low. But the moment it's a good ult, so you just follow because it's a Momo and you're Samira. And then you end up still getting two kills there. Like, that's not bad. Two for one. And I think you only got a bot lane turret, maybe. So, two for one and a tier two. That's pretty decent. It's pretty worth trade. I think for some reason, the Momo got tilted there. I don't know. Ideally, I want to get my BT here before we do anything, but we do a Baron. Do we still have Baron? I can't tell if that's the Baron buff or like the Empowered Recall thing. Oh, it's, oh no, it is Baron. BT is such a big spike. It, it like makes it so easier to survive. I really, really want to get this. Because the next fight or the next two fights will probably be the last two fights of the game. So ideally, you want to get as strong as that. As possible. So this is why, like, if you want something like that, you always want to ping it. Let your team know that you're from like one more wave, one more camp to get like that big strong power spike item. Because this is just like this. I do way more damage now. I will get a lot of healing. I'll get an overheal shield. It's gonna be really hard for them to kill me now. Volibear is scary though, that champ just runs at you, stuns you, and then you're just getting slapped by a bear. This is really risky by the team going for this fight, because I was not there yet. Like, that's not good at all, basically. Maybe I can clean this up. I sweep this to, to get like a little ambush play. Kill the bears, which is fine. We can probably re-engage here and help out. Braum was still alive. Passive proc. Boom. Probably not that much you can do with this though, because Elise and Rakan are already spawning in like 20 seconds. You could probably get a tier 2 top, and then you just reset. So again though, I think that's not really my fault. I was just resetting for my BT and my team somehow ended up in a fight. They should have just kind of waited for me. But um, yeah, I, I communicated it as well as I could. There's not really more I could have said. I guess I could have typed it out maybe and be like, Yo, yo guys, I'm getting my BT. Please do not fight. Your two booms like plus five on a rolled. I don't really know what I would buy here. We have Zeri, Elise, Varus. You could buy like a QSS here maybe. Um, QSS or start building a GA. Or Lord Dominix if you feel like you need the more damage. It might be Lord Dominix. Yeah, I actually end up going for GA. I think all of them are fine. I buy GA and Potion here because I feel like this is going to be the last fight. I flash up, I'm full build, so I invest into like the red potion. I get the... I don't know if I could afford to be absurd, but I just get the armor. Because I want to survive um, the fight. This is like okay maybe. A bit risky again, going for play without me. That's good, we kill two. It's kind of crazy that I haven't died yet. It's a mere mid lane and I haven't died once in Diamond 1 at 30 minutes. I think I'm just cheating. True. So two dead, now you just hard run it down as five because they have two dead. You can you can hard engage with a Momo ult, Braum ult, this Volibear is griefing. Rakan's going in for some reason. That's crazy, that's great. Diamond 1 by the way, Diamond 1 Rakan. He's engaging. Nice, the only knock up. You could probably chase this. You flash up, you can kill the Zeri here. Nice flash Q. This guy never kills you because you have BT now. That's fine, Zeri is dead. Volibear has 1 HP. You could probably get an end here. I think. We're leaving. Oh, this is actually a nice play. I actually really like that. Holy shit. Wow, really good Momo ult. That was actually sick. We pretended to leave. Wow, Zah. And then we re-engaged. It's like a pro player move right there. Bro, that was sick. That was a really cool play. Well, there you go. 
didn't die, 18 kills. Pretty fun game. Um, you can you can tell though how much I'm playing around the Momo. This is pretty much how just the mirror mid lane goes. You look at who you can play around, and then you kind of just follow up on those plays, while still going for like one v ones on the Zeri when you can, killing the backline when you can. Let me just check real quick how much LP I got or what the elo actually was. Oh, I'm not a like a liar. I got promoted to that red one. Yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. If you do like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.